Hi, drone lovers. I'm so glad and happy to introduce to you my first decent flight of a 5-inch quad. Introducing to you the quad that I built myself, the Tyro 109. See the carbon just snap right at the um snap all the way through all the layers broke at once. The top arm is the original arm that comes with the DIY stock. Uh, the bottom arm is the one that I bought uh, a new set of four. And you can see the bottom arm is so much better and so much stronger. Could it be a marketing strategy that Ishin don't supply us the stronger arm in the DIY kit? Who knows? Okay, this one is the original carbon arm. This is the new one with the many layers. You can just hear the sound when I drop it. Sound sounds more like a glass. This one sounds... You can already tell the difference. Okay, today I'm here to try out my new my Tyro after I repair the the arm or in fact after I changed the arm to a new one. So after the arm was changed to a new one, it is a new arm. Okay, I also put some protection so that the next time I crash I won't break it again. At least it gives some protection. Okay, everything is the same. I also bought some new props. So these props are the uh, Jam Fan uh, Haki 50-51. So let's try it out. I may need to change the uh, pits, but never mind. We just go ahead and change and just try it out with the, with the uh, existing pits that I tuned with the four four bladed propellers. I also received my Ishin EV200D so I'm also using an EV200D today to try it out to see if I can get a better reception uh, actually I received 200D for some time already it's just that I haven't got my diopters so I received my diopters as well so after putting it in I think it's much better I mean of course it's much better and also I'm going to use some uh, patch antennas and uh, Omni antennas with it so that I will get better reception. With the Ishin, I can have multi diversity. I use basically four antennas one front, one back for the patch, and then one uh, 90 degrees uh, of each other for the Omni.
Okay, I really don't know how to land this copter. I hope it's not broken or anything. Ah, it's very hard to land it. I can't really judge. Ah, there it is. Hopefully everything is fine. Nothing breaks. And it's... It looks okay. Everything looks okay. Let me pick it up. Let's see. Oh. Okay, not too bad. But it flew quite well. The props are okay. My arms okay. Nothing broken. Oh, I'm great. Okay, now I'm going to change battery. I don't want to use this battery. It's 3.7 volts. I don't want to take the risk of taking off and then low battery again. So I'm just going to change to uh, a new battery which is uh, of a higher power and heavier. And let's see. Let's try it one more time. Okay, this is the second battery. I hope I can practice landing. I'm still very, not very good at landing properly. Okay, let's go, second round.
come home. 3.6 volts. I don't want to push it yet. Until I'm more familiar with this quad. Okay, back home safely. Okay, now we go and retrieve the quad. I usually don't land it right in front of me. I usually land it slightly further, which I don't know where now. Oh, there it is. I have to sound my beeper. Ah, there it is. It's among the long grass. This area is good because the grass is pretty long. So that when I crash or what, it shouldn't damage anything. Still, it looks good. Everything is good. There's no broken props or broken arms. I think it's a good flight today. Um, this props uh, Genfan 5051 Haki props are pretty good, pretty snappy. Alright, so that's it for today.